So this is, besides our work, I mean, which is, I should say, like, you know, humanity, you are showing some humanity to anyone. It's not necessarily my client or necessarily my Bangladeshi or, you know, if I see anyone I can do, like, you know, for human, for human being. I mean, this is all about it, you know. I'm the principal investigator on two research studies, um, the DREAM project, which stands for Diabetes Research Education and Action for Minorities, and Project RICE, which stands for Reaching Immigrants Community Empowerment. Um, and both of these studies are community health worker interventions that are focused on diabetes management and prevention in three different communities. The DREAM project is focused on the Bangladeshi community and it promotes diabetes management among individuals with uncontrolled type 2 diabetes. There was a lack of health education that was culturally and linguistically tailored, um, and there were many barriers experienced in terms of accessing health care. Linguistic barriers, but also basic access barriers in terms of knowing where to go, um, being uninsured, um, and then also uh, just lives that face immigrant community issues that face immigrant communities in terms of work schedules not being compatible with seeking health care. Um, and so that's really how we landed on um, the idea of using community health workers. Community health workers are um, lay leaders from the community who don't necessarily have a health background but who are respected, trusted community members. And um, the idea of training them as community health workers is for them to serve as a bridge to the healthcare system. Hi, um, my name is MD Tahir. I'm a community health worker at DREAM Project, which stands for Diabetes Research, Education, and Action for Minorities under the Center for the Study of Asian American Health. Mm. Uh, my name is Mamnoon Al Haq. I am also one of the community health worker at DREAM Project. I was looking for an internship for my undergrads. At, um, I was doing my undergrad in community health education at Hunter, Co Hunter College. So I looked online and found the Dream Project. They are working for Bangladeshi community in diabetes management. So I was very interested and eventually got the internship. And um, when I saw the mm. Mamnoon and we have another community health worker, Gulnahar Alom, they are working really fantastic really for our community which really motivated me to be involved and take part and uh, I started actually uh, <coughs> uh, and this is also first uh, job as a community health worker um, I can I uh, can give you a little idea before coming to this country I'm originally from Bangladesh and uh, uh, after graduated from university and then I start to work uh, in a bank in Bangladesh for five five years so then I migrated to US and I had lots of different work here like as any other immigrant people who just come to this country and do you know, uh, the work, I did the same thing. I was looking for, of course, the banking uh, job because it was my, uh, you know, the earlier career. And then, but uh, I didn't find anything. It was the Gulf crisis, 1991, and job market was really bad. And then uh, you start to work in a store, became a sales manager, a man salesman to managers, and then I quit job and I started driving taxi cab which is the yellow medallion taxi cab in New York City and I co-founded the union New York Taxi Workers Alliance and certainly the next New York Taxi Workers Alliance became part of the Center for the Study of Asian American Health as a, as a partner so uh, then the, they uh, are looking for a community health worker from Bangladesh who do have very good knowledge about Bangladeshi community in New York City and good connections with the leaders, to the doctors, and you know, so they can extend their project to the community. And uh, uh, so, obviously, you know, they uh, send these uh, things to the Taxi Workers Alliance, and then I got this message, and I was looking for uh, a job. I mean, trying to get out from the taxi driving, and. Uh, then I read the whole thing, job criteria. I said, oh, I, I'm the person probably they're looking for. And uh, then I applied for, and uh, the, you know, they took my interview, and once they met there, you know, became very happy to have me. And I started, you know, and this project actually started to scratch from our hand. <laughs> when I see that my participants are making positive changes in, my, in their life, in diabetes management, that makes me really happy. I mean, um, we, we not only give them 
five classes on food nutrition exercise stress management also we do home visits two times so um, in our class we explain what food is good for diabetes management and what exercises are good we show them explain so one particular participant um, who started with our program with very high A1C uh, after joining our program with our intervention he showed significant improvement in diabetes management A1C lowered I mean out of danger than below 6.5 so I went to home visit once um, at his home you know our Bangladeshi culture when you go to people's house, home they try entertain us with food and everything so the food was served it was very healthy you know it was brown rice whole wheat bread a lot of vegetables cooked in a healthy way and I said is this just for me or mm. and he mentioned that it's their daily eating now it's just not only one person the whole family is eating healthy so I mean it's impacting not only individual it's a whole family and I would say if a family is hel showing healthy changes then it's mm -hmm. a community I would say you know but I know like our community like a lot of things they don't want to share but sometimes they trust okay this is the guy actually why they came to us they're trying to help us that's why they are here without any hesitation anytime we can call them we can visit their office asking anything they help us so they they are very trusted you know the people so and in this case sometimes like you know uh, we are pretty much uh, feel good and like you know to do our work you know I this mean is, it is, is I would yeah. say this is like another sort motivation. of motivation right exactly athlete. this trust the bridging the gap with the healthcare systems like which is I mean there is a big gap I could say we tr trying to minimize this and they cannot explain to their doctors that's why we work with the doctors we went we visited different doctors give them lectures how to speak with the Bangladeshi community culturally specific I mean what kind of food they eat I mean vegetables what considered as vegetable a lot of times a lot of Bangladeshi might be found like they are not they consider like potatoes and the dal is like uh, uh, vegetables but it is not it is carbohydrate totally so if you ask them you know vegetables so you have to make sure so that's why you're saying like two prescriptions one is prescription medications another prescription which is you have to eat these 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 do exercise that clearly and you have to explain like you know what a one c level is our finding says like you know very handful people we found during the survey at the beginning of this project uh, people do have uh, knowledge about a one c level so which is really important if you don't know about your A1C level is how are you going to manage it which is the main thing for diabetes so and doc doctor never explain oh you are fine quite fine you are fine do I mean whatever you do do eat right do exercise eat right means you have to explain what eat right a lot of our I mean I mean many many of them like you know doesn't understand exactly I mean eat right what it is so this is we educate people this is the I, I would say like you know bridging the gap of the co community and healthcare system that I can tell you one story with one of my participants um, he has very high A1C and um, he cannot speak Bengali I mean English so he requested me if I can accompany with him to the doctor so I did we I went with him and his doctor was little bit hesitant first like what the role of me you know why am I here then eventually he said oh this is my friend and he will you know try work as an interpreter so I was there and eventually the doctor found it was really helpful because I was interpreting with him the doctor was very very upset to see his A1C and it's like oh we have to put it put you on insulin there is no other way we can do it and the participant he is like I don't want insulin anyway then I explained to him if you start eating healthy if you do exercise then the doctor will eventually you know won't prescribe you insulin then you know it's like next month he next time after three months he went to the doctor's visit and his A1C level significantly from I, I let me give you the number from 14 
it came down to 7. So the doctor was so happy, it's like I was hi with him, so the doctor was like, oh you are so helpful, you are doing tremendous work. She put a note in her computer that who I am, you know, it, it's very interesting and I made good friendship with the doctor mm -hmm. and every time the participant goes to the doctor, she says, oh, where is your friend? In our, in our community, like, you know, some people have said, like, you know, we ask, like, you know, vegetable, what kind of vegetable you ate. They start with the dal we call aloo. So, say, like, you know, and this, this is not, put, yeah, this is not, you know, vegetable. This is the same as your rice or bread. You know, so, I mean, this is, and now the doctor asks uh, vegetables, oh, yeah, we all eat, eat vegetables, you know, but vegetables, they consider dal and aloo, I mean, which is uh, uh, potato. potato, vegetables with rice. So that means you did not eat any vegetables. All you ate carbohydrate. So that explanation you need to. So which is we had we had some opportunity to you know work with some doctors in other hospital uh, clinic. Or, you know uh, while we are working with the clinic uh, our uh, patients, and uh, you know we, we we just you know gave them uh, the presentation a few times. I mean how are you gonna work with the Bangladeshi patients, and which is really important. Which component like you know you mm -hmm. have to touch you know. So it's yeah. not only we educating our participants, we also yes. educating our mm -hmm. um, peop uh, doctors or mm -hmm. clinicians who are seeing uh, Bangladeshi, Bangladeshi patients, patients, cultural competency training we are mm -hmm. providing for the doctors. Yeah, yeah I mean, uh, uh, the community health worker model is getting popular. I mean, it wasn't that popular back then, even like, you know, the time of six years ago when I started to work with CISA. And uh, because I went to a couple conference and I have seen like you know community health worker and some sections that talk about the community health worker even like in Obamacare like you know he was talk about the relationship between the, the doctors and uh, 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 the community health workers. So I I believe not only us like other community health worker in the country they gave like I mean showed like significant work significant result to the doctors community all help you know and that's why it's getting like you know very popular and uh, obviously they are they are the person who knows the community very well